this whole house could go up in smoke tomorrow, I wouldn't blink an eye. Let me tell you something. There was a time in my life when the holes in my socks were so big, you could put them on from either end. I grew up in a tenement in New York with my mother, father, and 11 kids in one and a half rooms. We had two beds and a cot. You had to take a number off the wall to sleep at night. My father was five foot three, weighed 127 pounds. He had a bad heart, bad lungs, bad liver, and bad kidneys. He was a piano mover. Died at age 32 from an acute attack of everything. <laughs> my mother had to take up a job in a sweatshop. Six days a week, 14 hours a day. At nights, she washed floors at Madison Square Gardens, and on Sundays, she sold hot sweet potatoes on the corner of 14th Street and Broadway. What she didn't sell was dinner for the rest of the week. Sweet potatoes every night. <laughs> on Thanksgiving, she stuffed the sweet potato with a small white potato. <laughs> Her clothes were made of old rags she found, or a pair of old curtains someone had thrown away. Do you know what it's like? for a young boy growing up in a rough neighborhood in East New York to wear curtains. Can you imagine that? Little kids used to beat me up. But through all those freezing winters and hot, hungry summers, through years of scrimping and scrubbing, through illnesses without access to doctors or medication, one year we all had the whooping cough. 11 kids growing up in one and a half rooms. My mother nursed us on roller skates. And despite all that pain and hardship and suffering, she never once complained or cried out against the world because she knew it was God's will. That's the lesson my mother taught us. What God has given, God can take away. And for what God has given you, be grateful. When I was 14, I went to work for Shriver's Corrugated Box Company. He was a rotten man who made a rotten box. No matter how you packed it, the minute you shipped it, it fell apart. It didn't hold up under any kind of weather, including sunshine. <laughs> because Shriver was interested in a quick profit, not workmanship, not quality. When I bought the company from him in 1942, with $6,000 my mother had saved, I began making quality boxes, strong as steel. In the first three months, I lost my mother's $6,000. It's God's will, she kept telling me. But then, suddenly business began picking up. From nowhere, from everywhere, people were buying my corrugated boxes. It was like a miracle. The money kept pouring in. I couldn't find banks quickly enough to store it. My mother never lived to see my success. On the day I made my first million dollars, she passed away peacefully in her sleep on the BMT subway. Her last words to the conductor were, if God had wanted me to live, I'd have taken the bus this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All I wanted for my wife and children was to not suffer the way I did as a child, to not be deprived of life's barest necessities. But such riches, such wealth, I never asked for it. I never needed it. But when I ask myself, why so much? Why all this? I hear my mother's voice saying, it's God's will. I give half of what I have each year to charity, and the next year I make twice as much. Wealth has as much a responsibility as poverty is a burden. I shall accept what I'm given and ask for no more and no less. Can you understand this, David? Does anything I've said make sense to you at all? <laughs> He's asleep. Oh, David, why do you torture me? Why do you take my heart and twist it like a pretzel? Where's your faith, David? Have I raised you without faith, or have you just lost it? If you want, I can look in my closet in the morning. <laughs> oh, David, I'd give, I'd give everything I have in this world. Just to hear you say, once, dear God in heaven, I believe in you. Listen, I'm willing to take it up with the man. If you know his number, call him. Oh, David. The son who doesn't believe is the father's greatest anguish. Do you know what it says in the Bible, David? Yes, Dad. This book belongs to the Sheraton Plaza Hotel. <laughs> Good night, Dad.